So, we're back with another top 5 video. You guys really enjoyed the last one that we've done, so I thought why not come back with 5 more useful apps that I've personally been using on my PC on the daily. I've been absolutely loving all of these apps right now, so I thought I'd do another video to share them with you guys. We're going to get straight into this, so if you do download any of these apps, make sure you drop a like. It helps me out loads, and it's completely free, just like all of these apps that we're going to be speaking about today. So, if you're after some useful apps, make sure you stick around, because I think you're going to like what I've got for you. So, kicking it off with number one, we've got Sound Switch. If you're like me and you enjoy watching YouTube videos from your external speakers or maybe even your monitor speakers, but then it comes time to open up your favourite game and you've forgotten to switch the audio source. Well, this is a super simple app which allows you to set a hotkey to switch audio sources on the fly with the push of a button. Or let's say you're too lazy to even do that. You can set it to switch audio sources depending on which application is open. So if you've got your favourite game open, you can have the audio coming from your headphones, and when you go to Netflix, you can have it out your speakers. It also allows you to switch microphones. I don't know what type of situation you'd need to be in to be able to switch microphones, but the option's there, and you can do it if you need. This is one of those apps where you really do take it for granted, and you don't realise how much you actually use this feature until you're on a PC or a laptop without it. I really do recommend you check this one out. For number two, we've got Streamlabs OBS. This one's particularly useful for those of you who want to get into live streaming. You've probably heard of OBS before. It's possibly one of the most popular streaming softwares out there, but it can do more than just live stream. I often find myself using it to record stuff for these videos, so it comes in particularly useful for that. Streamlabs OBS is pretty much the same as normal OBS, except it's a bit more integrated with the, the rest of the Streamlabs software. In my opinion, it's just got a nicer interface and it's just a little bit easier to navigate through. But both are definitely great options, and I personally have one of these installed on my PC at all time. There's really not much else to say about it. Other than that, it's core, it allows you to record or live stream your gameplay or whatever else you're doing on your PC. So number three is for you people out there who love that clean looking aesthetic for your PC. Because you can't have that super clean desk set up and then just a Windows 10 taskbar. But don't worry, I've got you covered. This is Taskbar X. It's such a cool application. So last time I shown off Translucent TV, which is quite similar to this, but a little bit different. But since then I've came across this, and this just has a few extra features that I think make it slightly better than Translucent TV. So Taskbar X not only gives us the option to make the taskbar translucent, like Translucent TV did, but you can also make it a different colour, you can choose a blurry option, you can make it opaque, or you can give it a gradient. You can also choose from hundreds of animations from when you open your PC and your taskbar pops up. It just adds a little bit of personalization to your desktop that you don't get with a standard Windows taskbar. Moving on to number four, we've got File Converter. I'm going to be honest with you right now. This one is one of those things where, depending on what you actually do with your PC, you may not actually need this. So if you're just playing games on Steam on your PC, you probably won't need this. But if you're doing any kind of work, whether that be school, university, or actual working from home, this could be incredibly useful for you. I know personally, when I was putting together some reports for university, this came in clutch. It's essentially a one-stop shop for converting audio files, video files, image files, documents. You can convert anything with this. I'm going to be honest with you, this isn't like those other things where you're going to be using it every day. But for those few times where you do need it, knowing that you have it there ready to use is a lifesaver. But last but certainly not least is actually from Microsoft themselves. And it's something that I actually don't think a lot of people are going to know about. So I've saved one of the best ones for you guys who've stuck around till the end. So Microsoft have a set of tools called Power Toys. And these are a set of tools created by Microsoft that are kind of work in progress. And they're just kind of things that haven't made it into the full version of Windows. They all have a general focus on productivity. So the specific Power Toy which I'm going to be talking about in this video is called Fancy Zones. But if you are interested in a full video talking about all the different Power Toys that Microsoft offers, let me know down below. I think that could be a fun video to make. But anyway, like I said, the power toy that I'll be talking about today is called Fancy Toys. And this is basically a window management tool. And if you're like me, and you own an ultra wide, or even just multiple monitors, you know how fiddly it can get, keeping all of those windows the inevitably open managed. Now Fancy Zones is a window manager tool, which means you can use hotkeys on your keyboard to move your windows around. Now the settings on Fancy Zones allow you to go pretty in depth with it, but you can also keep it pretty simple. So you basically set zones using these sliders, and you can set as many as you like. And if you've got different monitors, you can set different zones for different monitors. But once you've set your zones, it's super easy to keep all of your windows managed. Another cool thing about Fancy Zones is it allows you to use multiple displays. There are other window management tools out there, especially like AquaSnap, which I mentioned in my previous top 5 video, but that actually required the paid version to use multiple monitors, so it wasn't actually the best solution really. But with this, it gives you the option to use multiple monitors and it's completely free, so that's always great. So, there we have it. There's 5 more useful apps to download for your PC. I've really been enjoying all of these apps and I've been using them on a daily for quite a while now. So I really hope you've enjoyed them and you download at least one. Of course, I do want you to let me know down below. If you do download any of these and you need any help setting them up or how to use them, let me know down below. 
I'd be happy to make a video showing you how to use them and how to install them. Like I said, I think next week's video is going to be a video on Microsoft Power Toys. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. You're not going to want to miss that video. That's going to be a good video. And I almost forgot to do the shout out from last video. So Prime Redux, congratulations, you got your shout out this week. He gave me an amazing recommendation when I was setting up my stream deck in the last video. So go check out his channel, it'll be in the link below. And of course, if you want a shout out in the next video, drop a comment with the keyword from this video, which can be fancy. Drop a comment with the word fancy in and I'll pick one of yours and shout yours out in the next video. Just as a little thank you for staying to the end of this video. But that about wraps it up. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.